This game five picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Edge Boost. Edge Boost enables you to double your pet with no interest. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. We're also brought to you by Bird Dog Shorts. The world's greatest shorts are hooking you up with the free Yeti style tumbler when you order over at birddogs.com slash pool. That's birddogs.com slash pool. The sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner on picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. I'm here for the funeral, and I'm I'm gonna oh. I'm, I'm not wearing black. I'm wearing Jimmy <laughs> Butler red, baby. Let's go, Blo- bloody Monday. Oh. Ryan, sorry, I'm giving boy. away my picks. Stay <laughs> tuned later when I give out my alt locks. Don't worry, poor boy, Jimmy <laughs> Butler. Man, it is. Uh, it was a great weekend for the podcast. I mean, starting from that that Belmont podcast uh, we taped, uh, b- bonus episode on Friday. There, Malcolm from the Premier League Gambling Podcast gave out an adjusted under on the corners that paid nine to one. And we went to his basement. Yeah, he's he goes take the ladder, go all the way down, keep going I down, down, down. We're an under program. We love the base. Yeah, huge cash there, and then Chase, of course, uh, turned us on to the winner at the Belmont Stakes. That was awesome. That was a huge uh, cash as well. Would you like to apologize? To, for any of your Italian American <laughs> remarks over the past yes, couple I years, I was, I was, I was slandering Italians. But I also, you, you were also on Archangelo. I also had Archangelo win play show. It was, uh, it was, it was quite, oh, quite a run there. I had a healthy future on that twelve <laughs> to one. Thanks and, to the guys. And I know no one cares about the USFL, but no. Kramer and I both went no. three and one against the spread, hitting our lock and our dog in the USFL. It is. Sure, you forget the best part. Oh uh, yeah, not, and Kramer's alt line. Not only did I give out that alt line, but I did some social media. <laughs> took a picture of God's eye. Was checking yes. in with uh, Tim Murray and uh, who was Sean? Uh, why am I blanking on his name? Quarterback well, of the King. Buck, Sean King, and uh, threw it up there. Tagged him. They got back to me. What do you like tonight? Threw out the Denver alt line. So e- even the folks on Veasan got to got to dabble in in that sweet three to one glory. No, and at some point I must have thrown in some same game parlays with the outline. So <laughs> the account got flush. The account got flush. And hey, if you're betting uh Ryan's uh zero or edge boost double down play oh, of the yeah. day, sports gaming podcast.com slash edge, you could have doubled up with zero interest on that sweet bet. What an opportunity. Again, uh edge boost, uh the world's first ever bet now. Pay later Visa card. Uh, this thing is legit, and again, it's not some zero interest, right? So, hey, uh, oh, they they give you some free money, and then uh, they're they're raking you over the coals with the points. No, zero percent interest. You just pay it back in four equal installments. Uh, very easy to use. Very easy to set up. I uh, can get up to twenty five hundred dollars in betting advances. I mean, imagine if you had that liquidity. That I, who doesn't want a little uh, extra extra money to get things done when it comes to gambling? Sports gambling podcast dot com slash edge to get started today. And you can set the, uh, you can, what's cool with the card is you can set up limits. You can manage it all from uh, the place of the one card. Very easy set up. Get going. Must 21 years or older to, to use problem gambling. Call 1-800 gambler. Sean, before we bring yes. the guys on where uh, we, one last time, only one last time to talk <laughs> NBA on the season. We, it, uh, so many people tagged me or uh, texted me. Uh, uh, but shout out to the I don't know one of the TV Twitter feeds that or movie Twitter feeds that put out the 53 year anniversary of Goodfellas where uh, the Shine Box <laughs> scene happened. So I I did want to say uh, not only kind of uh, pulling it up and throwing it on the big screen and watching it, it still is jarring when you hear the sound drop. 
We I've we've ruined the we've ruined this the the scene. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. When he says that, it doesn't sound like it's coming from the movie. In that moment, it sounds like it's coming from the sound. I feel so. like that we 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 uh, we got to dust that guy off. We haven't used that in a while. All right, hey, let's talk NBA. Wow. Jason Garrett's out of the league. That's <laughs> yeah. why he was he was <laughs> ultimate shine box. We guy. need a new coach. Just, just shine Jerry's shoes and uh, call. <laughs> And destroy the uh, the Cowboys' chances. Uh, let's bring it back from McCarthy. Joining us on the line, you know him from the NBA Gambling Podcast, the MLB Gambling Podcast, the Propcast. He does it all. Moonoff, the Machine, Mon G, Moonoff. Are are we gonna see a game six? I I I, I know I'm getting ahead of things, but what's your uh, take on the finals so far? Asking for a second opinion. I like that, Sean. <laughs> Oh, I just came here to learn from Kramer. Uh, I've been getting my ass kicked in the finals. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, kind of rewinding. What do you mean? Nobody cares about the USFL. I had the biggest bet on the over tonight oh, on that yes. over in the uh, the Philly and the Jersey game. So uh, yeah, <laughs> great weekend of sports, but I don't know, guys. It doesn't look very good. Might be the last day of the NBA season on Monday. Yeah, it's it's again. I've been a heat backer. I know Kramer was for a while. He. He well, found the perfect time to get wait. off the bandwagon. Are you, when you say heat, you're not talking about packing the heat because we no, talked about no, that. No, we're not no. gonna <laughs> we're not gonna bring the gun out no, on the show anymore. No more, no more randomly brandishing the gun. No, we can't on use the... that joke anymore. One one last time. Yeah, would you wait till the John Moran <laughs> suspension will probably bring it back. That big news is gonna actually. We will have to have the guys back on. We'll have a huge round table to discuss what John and Zion have done. Oh the my league. god. <laughs> The league's in great hands, though, right? Kevin, just <laughs> hand off that baton. <laughs> Steph, it's cool. Retire. Joining us as well from the NBA Gambling Podcast, Mr. Lante Smith. Lante, how has your uh, NBA Finals been so far? Man, it's going great. Um, aside from, I think I missed on one total, which was uh, last game. Everything else, uh, I think I've been pretty money on. Pretty, pretty good with the props. Also, uh, the one time that Miami did cover. Um, I was actually on this show with you guys, and yeah. me and you both were on it. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, man, pretty good. I was seeing the finals um, pretty well. I had a big bet on Denver minus a game and a half. Me and Scott both. So, I'm hoping that they close it out. But I'm kind of. It's kind of like a gift. I mean, kind of like a little sad that it's going to be ending, but happy that you're going to be cashing a bit. So, uh, it's. That's, it, that's how you know. That's much. how you know. Lante is a, a true DJ. That's he the said, Super Bowl he said, for me. He he said, "Sad to see it end," but really, he's just <laughs> it's because he's missing out on action, right? He goes, "Oh yeah, I won the money, but well, if if it the, if it goes longer, there's more games to well, bet on." He doesn't want to admit that's right. what it is. Summer it's league's not that that's far right. away. Summer league isn't that far away, and and shout Summer out to league. the maniacs that are going to be betting on that as well. I will be. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag in the front of the classroom. Uh, any any uh, moon off any big takeaways from game four going into game five I mean again the, the heat have tried to mix it up obviously the, the nuggets are the better team I think to me the huge thing watching that game and you know Joker got I think he picked up that fifth foul he had to yeah. sit out for a they while tried their and hearts. they still couldn't they couldn't I think you the the nuggets were like minus 1 during that stretch when that happened I'm like all right heat are fucked what was your what was your takeaway from game 4 yeah, well, Scott Foster did his job by giving uh, Joker his fifth foul. Yeah, come on. Quarter. <laughs> and then Miami just couldn't get it done, but you got to give a lot of credit to Denver's uh <laughs> The supporting cast outside of Jamal Murray, they were able to compensate and, and really keep the uh, foot on the gas pedal while Joker was out. Uh, Bruce Brown had a great game down the stretch. Jamal Murray did his thing, Aaron Gordon. So, I mean, you can see that there's just a huge gap in between talented players between the Miami Heat and Denver Nuggets. And that's really much just been the difference in this, in this, in this series thus far. So um, I know we'll talk about game five here in a minute here, but I mean, there really weren't any really takeaways from me from game four. It's just right now, Denver is just a more talented team right now. That's just what it is. You want to ask me my takeaway? Yeah. What's your takeaway, Ryan? Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Jimmy Butler might be a bitch. <laughs> DNA test coming back in. We might have to take those shirts off the line. I don't know what's happened to him. He, he He's was, hurt. I mean, He's yeah. Hurt. We'll he find out hurt. after the, the finals are over that oh he was dealing with X injury. Here, can I predict something? This is how we find out. We don't Ooh. find out that he's hurt through direct speaking. We find out through reporting that he's seeing a specialist about mm. a situation. Yes. 
and that or he's that, having surgery because that's what the, that's what a true dog does. They don't they don't outward say that they're seeing the the best foot doctor ever. That that wouldn't be what Jimmy Butler would do. That 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 definitely. <laughs> he's would seen be. the but, little bro, what, He's seen the Jimmy Butler of but foot doctor. But what he will do is make sure there's a reporter nearby <laughs> when he walks into the specialist office. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I I think. I think it's fair to say that if Jimmy Butler's name uh, was Jason Tatum, he'd be a he'd be a bitch. Like he'd just be called a bitch outward. If his name was uh, Joel Embiid, uh, no heart, bitch. Mm. Uh, no, but I mean, I think I think the difference is we've never just seen just because he looks like a pit bull. <laughs> no, well, we haven't seen Tatum or or Embiid consistently show us some heart. We've seen Jimmy Butler put the team on his he's, back. What do you mean? And he's getting carried by the walk-ons. <laughs> he's getting carried by the greenies. No, I'm saying during this run, Duncan getting them Robinson? here, getting them here. That a lot of that was Jimmy Butler. They don't get yeah, here if Jimmy Butler yeah. doesn't he's put Carson the team Wentz. on his back. Good point. Hey, he still he still gets a ring if they win. Lante, any any takeaways uh, from Game Four? These first four games. Uh, my main takeaway was pretty much how I look at sports as a whole. Uh, no matter how much experience you have, I want the better players um, from top to bottom. Denver's roster is better. Spo is a better coach. Absolutely, I don't think that's up for a debate. But at the end of the day, in any sport, I want the best players. I don't care as long as you got a competent coach. And now to Joe Mazzula. Um, I think you'll be fine uh, talent wise. So outside of that, man, I thought Miami looked dejected. If you looked at some of the, you know how the camera follows those guys. Not great uh, body um, language. Through the th- through the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. I- I'm big on body language. Didn't like it. Didn't like Bam ripping his shirt open like he was Hulk Hogan. Um <laughs> yeah, didn't like that at all. So uh I'm I'm interested to see how they come out. I mean, they're Miami doesn't give me the vibe and their, you know, the 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 key word, their culture won't allow them to just lay down. So I'm guessing they'll come out with some fight, but at the end of the day, man, I think Denver is just too good. Um, it's like that, like that movie, uh, little giants. It's like, you know, the Cowboys when they were playing the, uh, the giants, <laughs> it just, it's just, they're just too big, too strong, too fast. Um, uh, just this time the Cowboys end up winning. Not like the movie. Oh, sh- <laughs> shout out to Sully. He's going to love that reference. He's I, 100% Sean. We're waking up to a Sully text <laughs> where he's going to love the little giants reference. Shout out. Uh, shout out yeah. To Sully. I, I mean, it, it does, but the, the other version is that, that like they were the, the murdering already occurred in that last game when everyone was so certain the heat were going to get it done. And now this is just the last gasp of air. This is the it's ultimate- not even a real pushback. This is the uh this does feel like the ultimate zag, right? Everyone's everyone's buried the Miami Heat, everyone's crowned the Denver Nuggets, and that's when we see the the zombie heat well, truly come back from the dead, right? NBA is fixed all time high rating. Highest the rating has ever been for the I league just, is fixed. Come on. They're gonna need a game six. They're gonna need a game <laughs> seven. Sean, you know, I'm looking at our schedule. Wednesday night, we're supposed to do a we're supposed to talk. We're supposed to talk NBA NBA game six. If necessary. I we're let's let's figure something else out. We're gonna need a backup plan. <laughs> Shout out to the YouTube chat. Of course, make smash. sure you smash the subscribe button. YouTube.com slash sports giving podcast. Dirt McGirt inject a bam leader of on total rebounds, 35 Ooh. to one into my veins. Yeah, let's start talking props for the next game. Yeah, we need easy, to craft some shit here. Easy uh saying refs were heavy for Miami. Uh, they they gave the Heat all the calls. Totally agree. Uh, Serial saying, uh, "I hope Denver closes this out. Murray gets ten assists in the process. Cash Ooh. my plus five hundred and nineteen hundred. So uh, everyone, everyone looking to cash big here. Oh, and and let's not forget, one of us did give out Denver in five. Yes. And you yes, even, you, uh, hey, hey, Ryan, what's your edge uh, double down play? Oh, I'm I'm gonna go with Denver in five. Really, that's gonna be your play. That, that's what you said to me. Yes, yeah, I doubted you, Ryan. I can't. I doubted you. I thought Jimmy Butler had some heart. Uh, unlike, I thought Jimmy was gonna show up. Unlike Jimmy, I put the team <laughs> on my back. Hey, uh, before we get to our game five picks, shout out to new sponsor Bird Dogs. That's right. Dog. 
I, if you guys have not uh, tried on a pair of bird dogs, these things are super comfortable. Their shorts are amazing. A uh, bunch of sweet styles. They got khaki shorts that look really nice with the built-in liner. Super, super comfortable. I mean, as a guy who likes to wear the same thing day in, day out, bird dogs are the way to go. They have anti-stink sweat uh, wicking fabric that helps keep you cool and dry all day long. Bird dogs is a classy organization. They don't want to say guaranteed no swamp ass. I'll say it. Guaranteed no swamp ass when you're rocking these sweet, sweet bird dogs. Can I chime in? They real got quick? they got uh they got bathing suits. They got it all. What you want to look cool as shit hanging out with the rest of the dads on the sideline at a tryout Dog. or a youth sports practice while you dangerously hover too close to your kid's athletic achievement? Do it comfortably. <laughs> bird dogs. No swamp ass. There you go. Guaranteed no swamp ass. These things are comfortable as hell. Uh very fun. They got some sweet camo ones. Summer's coming. You need a go-to pair of shorts. And again, there I mean, imagine stuff that feels like a gym short, looks like a khaki short, super versatile. Love me, the bird dogs. And uh, go to birddogs.com slash pool and enter promo code pool for a free Yeti style tumbler with your order birddogs.com slash pool. Again, uh, you, you don't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you pretty cool there. The promo code is pool after the new thing I'm building in my Yeah, backyard. Ryan. I mean, come on, you got to load up with the bird dogs. You're oh. going to be sitting there in full dad mode, just oh, keeping yeah. an eye on the teens in the pool. Oh, it's, I mean, it's going to be hilarious. We definitely need an SGP speedo. <laughs> Can't peak embarrassment. I mean, moon off your years away from this, but <laughs> I cannot fucking wait to, I mean, it, at least four or five of them hanging out, get a nice tan. They're really obsessed with tanning right now. And so uh, I'm some anything that can show the white of my ass cheeks. That I figured that would create the maximum <laughs> embarrassment. <clears throat> anyway, used to call it the white whale. Uh, Lante, let's let's kick it off. Game five. <laughs> Just completely ignored. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. No, I, that's, that's what he's. I have no. Do. I have no Zach. It's funny yeah. if you just let him hang. Just setting the tone. Uh, going back to Denver, eight thirty tip East Coast Nuggets laying nine total sitting at two oh eight and a half. Uh, the Miami Heat are plus three ten on the money line. How do you see this game shaking up? Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the Heat here. I'm gonna take the nine. Um, I think they come out. I just don't. I don't think they can come out and play worse. I mean, Struess and Vincent were horrible. Yeah, uh, Vincent with the foul trouble. I mean, I don't know if that was even the full like case of why he was bad. He just did. He just looked out of it. Um, so I think if those two guys contribute, then the flow of that game is a lot different. Uh, and on the other side, I could say that you know Jamal Murray's hand is still kind of bothering him. Uh, again, I was watching the like the I don't know the pre post game where he was going into the tunnel and he was shaking his hand and he kept like uh, like referring to it. So I'm kind of wondering how bad that hand is. Probably on some of his point totals to go under. Um, but I see the game going one of two ways: either Miami covers and wins, or Denver blows them out like they did in Game Three mm. or Game Four. I'm sorry. So you don't so, you don't see uh, a, a Miami Heat cover Denver win? You don't see that in the cards? Yeah, yeah. I think I think they either they have to cover and win, or they get blown out. That's just how I'm mm. looking at it um, from that perspective. Uh, I do think that Denver isn't in a position where they lack focus, like some of these other teams that Miami has uh, faced. Uh, I think Scott used the phrase mentally fragile uh, <laughs> with Boston and, and New York. And uh, I mean, Milwaukee wasn't mentally fragile. It's just, they didn't have Giannis for a certain amount of time, but yeah, I, I give the heat a lot of credit, man. I think they're going to win their back. Their backs are against the wall. I think they're going to perform. Well, uh, I mean, Jimmy, he, he has to come out and perform a little bit better, but again, those ancillary guys, Struess, uh, Vincent, um, even, even like, I mean, you got to switch it up, play some high Smith, uh, something, anything to yeah, get some he, shots he, to fall. He, he had some minutes early in the series and then they got away yeah. from him. Yeah. I have no idea why. I mean, but I think they, what they have to do is just shoot as many threes as you can, like sh go in, shoot as many threes as you can try to get up. So, so I, I think if you real, like real quick on the Jam sure. Jamal Murray hand issue, if you haven't seen the picture, it looks, I mean, you know, earmuffs. If you're uh, if you're not someone who wants to hear something grotesque, but it does look a little bit like an asshole that's been intruding. <laughs> like it, there, there's. I'm gonna put it on the screen real quick. I, oh, there it is. I, I, I mean, I mean, maybe I, I can't really zoom in, but it, it's just, it looks like it could actually affect his game. When I first heard the injury, 
I said that's ridiculous. Well, and also it's I, it's at the bottom of your oh, of the palm. So fucking gross. So it's like yeah, it how is. do you how do you shoot or dribble without using that part oh, of your you hand? It's kind of weird. That, you numb it for yeah, the game. He, he's and got it. it. He's got it padded really, really like thick, and you can tell like some on his dribble handoffs. He's kind of like leaning to his left hand a lot more. And if you look at some of the screens and stuff, he's going more so on the left side. Like he's going over the screen on the left side, so he's using his left hand a little bit more. Uh, just something to monitor. And I just saw he just kept every every chance he get, he was holding it or like you know waving it or whatever. So that's just something to watch out for. So so now, if you like the heat or uh, the heat to win, uh, heat to get the cover, do you also like the over? Because to me. I think if you yep, like yeah. the heat, you have to correlate it with the over, right? Or what, what's your where I are agree. you at, Lante? You you agree? Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree one hundred percent because the thing is, the Heat pushed the pace in uh, in Game Four. It's just that I mean, they didn't make they didn't make enough shots. So I think the pace has to be there. Um, Kyle Lowry does a good job of pushing the pace and getting those guys in certain spots. He also takes the pressure off of Vince and, and Jimmy from initiating everything. So I think if those guys get up and run, and Denver they want to run. They that's that's what they want to do. And Miami's not going to stop them, or they're not going to win the game by scoring 98 to 100 points. They're going to have to get it up between 105 and 110 to have a chance to win the game. So I think they were going to bombs away from three and, and get out and transition and run a little bit more because they've had success in pockets of the, of the game, and uh, they just get away from it. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the Heat, it's pretty simple. If they score 100 points, they win. If not, they've lost. Yeah. I think we, uh, yeah, I think we discussed this last. It yeah, was like what, they got to like, get uh, to that. 110. We were saying the Heat probably have to score to beat Denver at home, and I mean, look, it's a it's a cute story, and and I'm also sad. This is the last time we'll get Sean Payton on the on the court mm. on court side. His, Did his you massive see the, uh, midsection? <laughs> it's just like something's in there. <laughs> They got oh, like yeah. maybe some. He, certain, he took uh, tumor, Russell maybe? Wilson's uh, chest protector or whatever. <laughs> no, no, all no. the all the weight Russell Wilson lost. Are you reading? Have, have you not read the fluff pieces on Wilson's diet this oh, offseason? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it, his team is can, spinning. TB12 to a two point oh. Moon off. Well, what's your take here? Plus nine. You got the total sitting at uh, like I said two oh eight and a half right now. What what are you doing here? Game five. Yeah, I'm gonna die on the hill of taking Miami as well. Yeah, here, plus, let's go, the, baby. plus the nine. I no mean, no one believes in us. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think it's also kind of going into. I know it's a completely different situation, but you kind of go back to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Boston Celtics pushed it all the way to Game Seven, and people thought, "Oh, Miami doesn't have a single chance here to win this game." But they went into Boston, they blew them out. I know this is a different situation that they're down three games to one, looking to extend the series, but. Um, I know you guys touched on the hand injury. I think that kind of showed up in the box score as well from game four, where Jamal Murray shot five of 17. He did have 12 dimes. I know we'll talk about props here in a minute, but um, I like Miami here. I, I think that, you know, Jimmy Butler will show out. Bam Adebayo has been having a great series as well, as far as putting up points and rebounds and either one of Gabe Vincent or Caleb Martin's going to show up and put up 20 plus points in this game uh, to provide that scoring support for uh, the uh, for the Miami and you guys talked about that if Miami's going to win this game is correlated to the over. I think you can correlate it to their team total because right now that's sitting at 100 points. So oh yeah, that's a that's probably the better play honestly. Yeah, so if you like Miami plus the nine, if you think they're going to win outright, it, they're going to have to score. You know, Kramer mentioned it, maybe not 110 points, but right now that number is sitting at exactly 100 points. If they score 105, 107, maybe 110, I do think that they can win this game. Oh. I mean, guys, what are we doing? I'm telling you what we're doing. We're taking the heat. They're, they're worn down. Now they got to go back to elevation after being at sea level. Ah, uh, they got there early to smoke some weed, kind of you know, relax your mind and get ready for game. Uh, yeah, weed. Jimmy Butler's right. getting a glass of wine. He's gonna set the vibes. It's gonna be high. Kevin Love. I mean, we'll get to him when we talk props. He he had his first kid. Those guys Looks always like more seem of a cocaine guy to me, but <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa! Out of nowhere, off isn't the he, top rope. Isn't he? Uh, wasn't he? Bur <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Lo wasn't Kevin, he? Bur Kevin loves joining the team. Wasn't he like in the the like Bill? Like wasn't he like bro, like raised by Bill Walton? I'm talking about him like he's a wolf. <laughs> Uh, uh, I know they were the friends. Beach Boys or something I like think that. I always thought he was like a big weed guy, but yeah, that was it was like a UCLA a, connection, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Listen, LA knows Bill Walton. I don't know what kind of beaches you go to, but <laughs> more likely to be smoking weed than doing blow. <laughs> Moon off goes Moon to off some party the, beaches. He likes a snowy beach. <laughs> he likes that white sand. He's going to Ibiza. 
No extradition here, bitch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm on the Heat plus nine. I, I, yeah, I guess I'll take the money line. I, I, I do think there's a good chance Nuggets close to that at home. But man, it, this Heat team, when we doubt them, that's when they show up. When there's when there's expectations, that's when they fail. When they were up three zero, there were expectations. Think about it. When did they finally win that game? When everyone jumped off the ship. When everyone said, "There's no way the Heat are winning this." All this momentum swing. We're trying out the 2004 Red Sox, and, and we're gonna win this, and it's gonna be the first time ever. What's and then they finally won that fourth game. What's the money line? Plus three ten. Hmm. All right, so so I I I why, I'm, why I like not the, why not look at the all the alt spreads then? Yeah, no, that's a great point. It, it, like again, I'm merely an advisor here, mm. uh, free free of charge. But if I like the heat, why not maybe look at that five and a half plus five sixty six and a half plus six seventy range? Mm. Really, kind of escalate the situation. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I just I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I think it's a wide range of, of possibilities for Denver to be able to win the game, but I think that the Heat could win a close game. I think they could win, you know, by margin. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd rather just take the money line and they can win by, you know, a half a point for all I care. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Lante. I think oh. maybe, I think maybe Heat money line and then, and then you know, connect it with some of these props we like, or uh, again, if your book allows you to take money line and team total, I'm with uh, moon off here. I really like the uh, Miami team total over. That feels like a good one. Kramer, bring your shade here. Toss it what in do you mean my shade. Of course I like Denver. I mean, I, I, I pulled up the betting splits. Oh, uh, uh, these, from, these betting well, splits. These are, these are a draft King. So place, you know, not, not, not none of us play a DraftKings because we're super sharp, obviously. <laughs> but if we're looking at the common man, sixty-five uh, percent of those common men are betting on the Heat right now, mm. and so uh, yeah, that's shocking to me. I don't trust that. Is that. shocking. You you guys are going back to the well. Get, all right. So uh, fun fact: FanDuel really allows you to stretch your legs when it comes to the alt lines. Mm. Uh, I, I didn't know I was being limited so hard by these pussies over at DraftKings. <laughs> I, you can get all the way. Like so, I can go to thirty-three and a half at twenty to one. Laying thirty-three and a half at twenty to one. Now there there have been less than uh, ten. Has, how many times has that happened in finals I'm, history? I'm right? about to tell you. Less than ten times in finals history has a game been decided by more than uh, this many points. Uh, mm. That being said, it's happened plenty of times, and a, a, a team with maybe a little bit of quit because they know they're cooked in the Miami Heat, coming to the altitude, maybe enjoying too much of the what they used to call it the wacky tobacco. It probably makes you sound old, old to call it that now, but. Uh, I'm not going that big. Mm. I was just letting everyone know you can get real, real loose over there. I am gonna go down the board a little bit, Sean. Yes, twenty and a half. Speaking my name, plus four twenty. We're gonna lay Woo, twenty and a half with the Denver weird. Nuggets. We're gonna for plus like four twenty. And yeah, I don't hate that either. Yeah, I mean if if. If you're if you're in on line. yeah, I mean you got a nice uh, <laughs> a nice you got twenty a nice, point negative window <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah twenty point window where you lose two bets mm, what could go what, wrong Sean <laughs> we're being reckless that there's not actually any uh, EV in alt lines no! at at this point um, this many standard deviations away <laughs> from the you're paying way too mm, eight B cents versus six cents BJ in the YouTube chat Sorry. just says Kramer is high what do you mean <laughs> I mean that's, you, that's unrelated to the prediction I'll say in Kramer's defense at some point you have to respect the fact that uh, like the great Antoine Walker said why do you keep shooting threes because they don't have fours mm. And by the way, I'm I, I am pretty good. People reminded me I did have some bangers in the alt markets over the years. Yes, in the NBA. oh god, coming back. Well, it's the NBA. It's insane. Yeah. Like it's, if if I was a live trader with my green visor, I'd be fucking up the books. And the I mean, how many times ha, have the Heat come back from ten? Right. Like that's the thing yeah. that's making all the noise, but it's constantly happening. So anyway. Minus twenty and a half, plus four twenty. We got a uh, easy with the insane uh, same game parlay here. He likes Miami money line, 
Caleb Martin, 14 plus points. Gabe Vincent, oh, four this. plus threes. Butler, eight plus assists, plus fifteen thousand dollars. There you go. That's <sighs> that's pretty sweet. Uh Justice uh likes uh Michael Porter Jr. under two and a half threes. I'll co-sign that guy. Uh Jake uh Paquin, Caleb Martin over 14 and a half uh points rebounds there. Uh, Easy also said Aaron Gordon over 13 and a half points. Um, MB, uh, MPJ under 11 and a half points. I do like Aaron Gordon over 13 and a half points. I think with the um, with Jamal Murray kind of maybe being limited slightly, he's been getting more of the looks. His plus minus Aaron Gordon is insane. Um, I like his energy too. You know, I, I'm going to just look to two guys on the Heat that are kind of due in my mind. One, mm. Kevin Love, like the over on his points, and two, <laughs> Uh, Gabe Vincent. I mean, again, I, I he's getting a ton of shots. He's putting up a ton of shots. He had two bad shooting games at home. I think he's, I think he's due for a a nice uh, bounce back spot here. And I'm seeing nine and a half points. I, I I really like Gabe Vincent over nine and a half. You may have to lay a little bit of juice there, but uh, that feels pretty good. And Kevin Love over six and a half. I like that as well. Also think he's a fun uh, first basket guy. Uh, there at ten to one, and of course, if you want to get insane, Kevin Love two pointer uh, first basket. But those are uh, those are some props that's for me. Never gonna hit. No, but it's that's a, Ryan. It's not about giving out stuff that's gonna hit. It's, it's about gonna... having your brain overloaded with uh, with a sweet sweat here from tip off until when the first point is scored. Fair enough. Lante, props wise, what are we looking at? Yeah, man, I'm agreeing with you on, on Vincent. I also like Struess. Um, I seen it since Kramer's going to the alt. Um, I see Vincent 15 plus points at plus 440. I'm definitely gonna put something Ooh. on that. Um yes. see if Mike can shop around and fi- find him a little better than that. Um, but I like him. I like Vincent, I like Struess. Uh, I'm with you on love. I would probably do do his points, rebounds, and assists, because I think his his rebounds and assists are kind of correlated with how he does those outlet passes. Um, so one could lead to another. Oh yeah, that's and uh, on on the Miami side, I mean, I'm I mean on the uh, yeah on the Miami side, I'm probably just gonna go with the ancillary guys like Struess and, and Vincent. I won't play the the big guys like Jimmy and, and Bam, but Bam's been having a great series, man. Um, it's kind of underwhelming that they're about to get probably going to get beat, but <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Struess at 15 plus points. That's probably my one of my favorite plays at plus 440. I mean, he's a he was lined at like 12 and a half, 13, um, all, all series. And now he's getting like nine and a half. I, I don't think that's quite, uh, I don't think that's quite justified. I mean, he's been in foul trouble and, uh, throwing off his rhythm. So I like that 15 plus at plus four forty. Yeah. Sean, I, I forgot. I did this earlier. A uh, lot of time spent youth sports sidelines this, <laughs> this weekend. Uh, I got a little underdog. Um, Ooh, what do you got there? Or whatever, whatever fancy term they use. That yeah, isn't, throw isn't that parlay, out. But we're correlating three props together. <laughs> Jimmy Butler under uh, thirty nine and a half pra, Joker over fifty two and a half pra, and Bam over ten and a half rebounds. What and those six pay, to one, baby. six to one. Yeah, I mean you can do the whole insurance thing where you like if you nah, get one wrong, you don't want like, two out of three on that. You what is this? What do you? What are we? We're a hedge and product six now. Six to one, six to one on those player prop parlays. Underdog fantasy promo code SGPN, hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. Uh, sweet little offer there. But th- those are those are pretty fun to play, and I think the the plus six hundred is pretty. Pretty good, at least. Com- I know some of the places whittle your odds down a little bit more than that. So six to one on. Oh, that I mean, six nice. to six to one is like you're still introing into the market. Yeah, you're not juicing it. You're not really sh- <laughs> shaving anything above. They're not. Market. They're not taking a massive rake but like some before, places. Before before we finish the segment, are you? Do you have any interest in my five hundred dollar underdog team so far? Slow draft. Oh, say no. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we'll save the yeah. we'll save the <laughs> NFL draft for later yeah, in the it's week. A teaser. Uh, that is a great teaser. Yeah. Moon off props. What are we doing? What do we like? Um, I'm gonna go back to the train that's been cashing for me so far in four games. That's been Jamal Murray assist. Um, he's had at least 10 in every single game. And again, if we're talking about the hand injury, not able to shoot, he's probably gonna look, be looking to facilitate a little bit. Um, last game he did finish up with 12 assists. Uh, if you want to go up to 13 assist in this game for uh, Jamal Murray, you can get that over at DraftKings for oh, let me I see that. here I just, plus 750. Twinkle in my eye. 
the way that people are just, I, I will say the fact that you can essentially just apply a sliding scale to every prop now, oh, the yeah. time we live in hashtag digits only. If we only would have known Ryan, if we only would have uh, seen this What's just that? great gambling future. I, uh, yeah. So I, I have been asked is, did something happen to the almanac? It, someone noticed it's no longer sitting oh, behind you. What do I? Oh, I have my Grateful Dead action figure. Yeah. yeah well, did something happen? Did <laughs> no, we go? No. Did we no. go to the future and there was a <laughs> little bit of an issue? They asked for the almanac back. It'll it'll make an appearance again. Colby got hungry. Kramer, any other? I I think it would be fun if we put together a group um, same mm. game parlay. Just good for good for mojo. Good for vibes. How say you, Ryan? You sure. in on a group? Uh, uh, but I don't. I mean, I don't know how I can agree <laughs> with you, crazy motherfuckers who think the series isn't going to end. Uh, <laughs> all right. So well, I would say the things that we it sounded like we it, it sounded like we all agree on um, some angles here. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah fire it up, Ryan. All right. So I'm making. Am I making the bet? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah. Let's oh, let's get a let's build the same game parlay for and and uh, feel right. free YouTube chat chime I, in. I have the engine. We're gonna build it on Fanduel. How's that sound? Okay. All right. What well, do we got cooking? Uh, well, are we are we what are we doing with Joker? We have to uh, obviously triple playing, double playing Joker makes sense. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, with plays rebounds and assists. Yeah, P A R uh, rebounds and assists, or if you want to go. Triple yeah, double. I play his rebounds and assists. All right, what's the rebounds and assists at? God, there's so many. Should be at like this, 23 and a half, 22 and a half. This is great. I mean, just great, great content. Uh, let's see here. Yep. No, I don't see it on. Yeah, it's not in the same <laughs> game. Parlay, on Fanduel, so. I don't draft. All right, right I'm, I'm, I'm dumping Fanduel. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to draft. Yeah, you probably have to go to DraftKings. Great. Uh, uh, all right, so all right, uh, what else do we like? While I look that up, Kevin, twenty-two Love. and a half right now for uh, Nikola Jokic assist and rebounds. Oh, yeah. okay. I like I like just I like fine playing this, playing that. Okay. All right, what? Uh, so we got the Joker assist and rebounds. What else, Sean? What do I you? Think we all like Gabe Vincent over. Yeah, on his Gabe points. Vincent. That one really jumped out at me. Yeah, yeah, I love Gabe Vincent. Love all Gabe right. Vincent. <laughs> And again, I'll t I'll toss you a Nuggets one. Uh, the Aaron Gordon over stuff I think is pretty interesting because he seems to, like a, like I was saying earlier. Um, yeah, Easy says Aaron Gordon uh, fifteen plus is probably his favorite straight bet. So I would I would throw that in there. All right, so Gabe Vincent, Aaron Gordon, or maybe maybe he was talking uh, points in I don't know. What's his, I, 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 yeah, sorry. his points? His points for rebounds and assists should be at like twenty one. If I'm not mistaken, I, I have no idea. That, and uh, this is I should not be driving right now. This none of this is working. <laughs> I can't find an under. Can't find an under. Yeah, that's how they do the same game parlays. Yeah. All right, then I don't understand what. <laughs> All right, you want me to? This is a horrible segment. <clears throat> All right, what are we taking? Gabe Vincent over what? It's five Nine and plus a half points, right? Yeah, we, yeah. I, I don't see that. I see, I see some bullshit. But this is why I don't like. You got to scroll down. This is why I don't like. I got it. Kings. So over nine and a half points, got that in there. For Gabe Vincent. What are you looking? At? And then we got uh, Aaron Gordon. What do we want to do on that? You want to go over? Craig, I think you're going his points, right? Yeah, Aaron Gordon points over thirteen and a half, or do we up it to fourteen and a half? No. Um, I would stick to thirteen if it's minus one hundred five, right? Yep. Yeah, I see minus one hundred five. Okay, yeah. so we got Vincent, Aaron Gordon in there. I don't hear any alt numbers. This isn't my kind of parlay. And then <laughs> I'll go Jamal Murray ten plus assist. Okay. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not going to argue with that. We did show a graphic that made his hand look like there was an asshole on it, but <clears throat> I'm sure it won't affect his. Jamal passing. Murray. We'll we'll call it uh, over nine and a half assists. That's plus yeah. one sixty. We're at plus seven hundred right now, Kramer. What else you want to see in here? We didn't. You we don't want to. You don't want anything that I want to see. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Denver minus two. No. Uh, do we do we want to put something Jimmy Butler related? Since since I am wearing a, a Jimmy Butler T shirt and you seem to think he has dog in him, I go under PRA. Yeah. All right. I cosign under PRA. First point score. Ooh. Jimmy Butler. Oh, all right. Now we're talking. Oh, see why? Why even <laughs> ask me? I don't like this segment. I'm just here for fluff. <laughs> just here for my good looks. I'll just model the shirt. 
<laughs> you can check me out in my plus 420 outline earlier in the show. It was on the Nuggets, so you don't actually have to go back to earlier in the show. All right. Um, Everything all right, Sean? Yeah, no, I'm. You're playing I'm, blackjack? No, I'm working oh, okay. on. Uh, <laughs> do we add Kevin Love first score in here? Because then. It, Wait, you're gonna have two first Draft scores? Kings? No. What do you mean? I well, Jimmy said, Butler. Yeah, Butler is only uh, four fifty. Sean Kevin Death Love. Wheel. We're in trouble. Kevin Love is fifteen to one, and that's where it all gets right, interesting. Do it. Because then I'm, it's one sixty yeah. to to one. Anything to get out of this. All right, Ryan parlay. wants to go. He has to. He has to go to bed. No, no, no. I like the show. I like the episode. Just not the <laughs> same game parlay. Built. All right. What the do you want? What do you want? Right what now. do you want to go with, Ryan? No, no. I like the parlay. Where I'm ready to go. Okay. Graham I'm not, is that guy right now that you know the the group project that doesn't participate but still yeah, ends up just, getting an egg. Yeah. Well, the irony the of that line. statement. Gabe um. Vincent, ten plus points. Aaron Gordon over thirteen and a half points. Jamal Murray over nine and a half oh. assists. Kevin Love first basket. Feel free to use whatever you want of these. Uh, one sixty to one. And again, really? Yeah. Oh. Make sure you check mm. out sportsgivenpodcast.com slash edge. Get that uh, double down boost, zero percent interest. Big thanks to Moon Off and Lante for calling in the show. Uh, make sure you follow them over on Twitter at SportsNerd824 for Moon Off and Lante at XX Lante XX. Check them out on the NBA Gambling Podcast. And of course, make sure uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Uh, toss us a nice rating review. Appreciate shout out to the chat. Always enjoy the chat in here. Toss us a thumbs up, a like, a rating review. You guys know what to do. Always appreciate the support. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. And he's Ryan. Pretty hilarious how much money Zion was paying that chick for sex. <laughs> Kramer, let it. Ride.